In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for H3PO4 plus CaOH2. This is phosphoric acid. This is calcium hydroxide. So when I look at this reaction, when I look at the products, I see there's water and then I have this metal and nonmetal. It's an ionic compound, so we can also call that a salt. And then we have our water. And when I see a salt and water in the products, I'm thinking it's probably going to be neutralization. In the reactants, we said we have phosphoric acid, one you should memorize, and then we have a metal bonded to an OH. So this is a hydroxide. So when we have something like a calcium hydroxide, that's going to be a base. It's helpful if you memorize some of these common acids and bases. It makes it a lot quicker when you're learning chemistry. Let's take a look at a table of common types of chemical reactions here. And we said this is a neutralization reaction because it follows the pattern acid plus base gives us salt and water. So neutralization, but it's also double displacement. That's because the calcium and the hydrogen, they switch places, they replace each other. So now we have the hydrogen going with the OH, HOH, that'll give us H2O, same thing. And the calcium goes with the phosphate, the PO4, we get calcium phosphate. So it's also a double displacement. Let's balance this reaction though, so this makes a little more sense. It's gonna be three, two, and six. And there's a card to a video on how to balance the equation if you need more help there. So those are the types of reaction for H3PO4 plus CaOH2. We have a double replacement and a neutralization. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.